Hello, in this video we're going to discuss Advice to Law Enforcement Agencies The Black Lab Part 2 Social Isolation Now, uh, just to clear something up uh, This ha is happening worldwide and uh, it involves the country's spy agencies with the exception of the United States and Israel and the case of those two countries the Wiccans and Witches go in, in there and do this stuff without being detected. Okay, and if they wanted to remove someone from such a country, then they'd do it illegally. Bring them into another country where they can get away with doing this sort of stuff. Alright, so uh, the targeted groups are Christians, scientists and celebrities. Now, sign with celebrities is the paparazzi. The paparazzi work for the UK military intelligence, and that, that is part of their social isolation on that celebrity. So that's how you can tell there. But it goes further. So, implementation of social isolation. Bitcoin is submitted. Uh, often it's a group of people who hate one person. And what happens is the community is replaced by witches and Wiccans. This means that an entire town or district, all of its people are murdered and their entire families. And it's effectively genocide. A cordon is established. And it has three levels. And the innermost level is where the person who's the target or the target family and they don't let anything get in there that's not a witch or a wiccan at all so uh, on the internet internet isolation uh, social media harassment and intimidation they cut you off from the rest of the world and uh, the only people that you have contact with are assholes so you can't befriend anyone or be anyone's or, or talk about anything. Literally, you just talk to yourself. No one would uh, communicate with you on Facebook or any other social media. You get no response from anyone. Uh, they also go behind people's backs and uh, tell them lies about you, saying that people are pedophiles, they rape animals, and they make up all sorts of stories. And shut them down. Say they have got a mental health problem, things like that. They do it behind a person's back, and whenever that person makes a comment anywhere that's to do with social media, uh, there's never a response from anyone else. It's also done <coughs> on the internet level is uh, closed down to a small area of the internet. And they filter everything that goes into the computer of the person that is accessing it. The one that they're social isolating, they make sure that there are certain things they never see. They just block it. You do a Google search for something, you'll get two pages. That's a sign. Or a page. Or a page and a half. And that's it. Nothing else. Uh... Bars, pubs, and nightclubs, they know you're going to go there before you go there for this person who's being under social isolation. And they empty the bars, pubs, and nightclubs and the middle of town and put just witches and wiccans in there. And these people heckle that person when they go in there. And there is just no chance in hell of them having a good time at all. They uh, heckle them about the clothing that they wear, their height, their looks. Uh, with social isolation, they have key points that they target on a person's body. And they constantly remind them of, the, of them, always. You have total strangers making the same comment and you wonder why. So... Uh, uh, they do that in bars, pubs, and nightclubs, and in other social settings. 
So uh, there's hostility in there, and basically you can't talk to anyone or sit with anyone. To make matters worse, there's a handler present always who makes things even worse. They tell you what you're feeling. Oh, you're thinking right now, these people aren't nice. Oh, you're thinking right now you're depressed because you're drinking beer. That's what they're like. Uh, at work and school, uh, school, uh, they wind up with a group of fake friends. Some of them take a chemical with them uh, that causes acne and they'll use a handler to control the victim and then one of the Wiccan children will go up to them and touch them on the face or other parts of the body with their finger. That area uh, is infected by a chemical which causes acne, severe acne. You wind up covered in it. All right, um, they uh, also undermine your efforts to make friends. And you have a group of people who are your friends, that they say you're your friends, but they're really uh, your enemies. They're Wiccans, and they're not, not good people at all. They heckle you and remind you of your flaws constantly. At work, uh, they'll do things like uh, arrange for a, a break from work. They'll have uh, a circle of people standing there. And then, of course, the person who's being under social isolation wants to stand in the circle and talk to people. Oh, they'll have a conversation. They'll exclude the person who's the mark. They also go as far as getting a person to walk into the circle and stand in front of that person. They do this in bars, pubs and nightclubs as well. When a circle of people are dancing, one person will go walking in and dance in front of that person and force them out of the circle even so far as to moving backwards and push them out. So it's pretty appalling and it happens. Uh, they put people down constantly who are the mark. And this cause, causes fights and then they intimidate them. With the handlers, so the, the uh, victim has a handler. They've been drown wrapped and hypnotized not to notice them. The handlers always wear black, and whenever they wear certain items of clothing, they instantly uh, become uh, undetectable because of hypnosis. And so uh, the handlers torment them. Uh, humiliation is also something that they do. They always come up with something uh, that will humiliate the victim, and then remind them by saying it, by saying it out loud, they remind them, and then the person is unhappy. And they do this in social settings, and it causes humiliation. Uh, missed chances. Uh, this happens a lot when it comes to doing with girlfriends or boyfriends. So a person uh, who uh, wants to go on a date with a person, they'll arrange for a setting where they meet someone they're really attracted to. And then they'll control and micromanage the situation so that the victim fails abysmally. And then they live in a state of constant regret. So the state of constant regret is uh, they have a list of key points that they uh, record and play back through hypnosis. And then they deliver it with a trigger word and remind them the story of why they're upset. Oh, you missed out on your chance for this woman. Or you missed out on your chance for that woman. Uh, the victim takes the blame for the problem. And this torment, uh, through hypnosis, they make them so unhappy that they throw a tantrum, cry and break down, scream and wail, all sorts. Uh, control of social situations they micromanage everything and they arrange for things to happen in the victim's environment and then uh, when those events occur uh, suddenly the victim is humiliated and further isolated from people uh, mental health degradation that's a side effect 
and uh, it'll be obvious what it creates. Um, it creates hatred of the person's, uh, the people in the person's environment. There is a lot of other problems that it causes, and that'll come up later. So uh, that's an introduction to social isolation. I'm the Archangel Daniel, and I'm from heaven.